At NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida, technicians at Launchpad 39A are working to repair small cracks on the tops of two metal support beams called stringers on Space Shuttle Discovery's external fuel tank. Teams have built an environmental enclosure in an area around the stringers, which will provide the proper temperature and humidity when foam insulation is reapplied to the tops of the stringers following the repairs. Video B-roll includes lipstick camera views from inside the enclosure and video of a technician holding a new section of metal called a doubler that will be installed on the stringer as part of the repair method. It's called a doubler because it's twice as thick as the original stringer metal. The stringer crack developed as the external tank was being filled for Discovery's launch attempt on November 5th for its STS-133 mission to the International Space Station. That launch attempt was scrubbed because of a hydrogen gas leak, which other technicians are working to repair. Patty said she can get the ones up top and I think the ones down below. So when Dan's ready, we're going to call her and see if we can get these reduced to help them out. And I'll get on the phone with Patty and see if we can reduce it as we go. She was thinking we'd go over here and pick up one.